Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It's another cold and cloudy evening in the Mid-South area. And it looks like it's going to be cloudy and rainy and or stormy over the course of the next few days. So why are we talking about astronomy? Well, it's a cool thing to talk about. It's a good thing to get your kids interested in. And even though it's cloudy outside, there are a lot of things that you can do to learn more about astronomy, whether it's picking up a great book, learning more about historical figures when it comes to astronomy, like Kepler and Galileo and Newton and all those cool people from a long time ago. You can also see a lot of stuff online. You can use your iPad or whatever tablet you use or cell phone to not only download cute kitten videos, but you can also download a lot of neat and interesting things. Like for tonight, just as a for instance, I'm using uh, the current situation set up from NASA, checking out what's going on with all of the satellites out there that they are tracking. Uh, from SOHO to MAVEN to the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. You can see the signals coming down in real-time mode, and we can tell which, again, satellites are being tracked by which uh, agencies and which satellite dishes out there. So that's kind of a cool thing to be able to do with the picture, including taking a look at things like Mars weather and stuff like that. Currently, again, in the Mid-South, it's fairly cloudy and probably is going to be some variation of getting the cloud cover out there to block out a lot of the good viewing this week, but there's still a lot of other things you can take a look at. Now, later on this week, when it starts getting a little bit clearer, we should see a very good view of Mercury on the southern horizons. It does not look, again, to be too good for right now for viewing purposes, but it is going to be, again, the possibility of seeing Mercury toward when it gets clear out there. Hopefully it stays that way into the course of the next several days and weeks, but unfortunately for right now, it is just going to be very much on the dark side and cloudy out there so when it gets clearer take a look close to the horizon right after sunset and I mean right after within like an hour or so and you might see mercury out there now in the next few days closer again toward the end of the week when it gets clearer and very cold for that matter you may see a few more planets out there seeing Venus very bright Mars just above that the moon getting a little bit closer toward full heading away from Mars up into the southern parts of the sky and you'll see a few other things out there this uh, graphic and information courtesy of earthsky.org if you'd like to see more about sky viewing and stargazing available from their point of view great opportunity to see more at that location the moon will be heading toward first quarter that'll be on December the 7th in just a couple of days new moon will be taking place a little bit after that around the 14th or so and the last quarter moon will be happening right before the solstice right around december the 20th and solstice the shortest day of the year happens right after that so again taking a look up there for more information about that this particular uh, graphic about the moon courtesy of space.com a lot of great websites to check out there if you'd like to see more about that a coronal hole will be opening up in the sun and sending a stream of particles across the solar system and we are going to be in the path of that we could see some interesting effects out of that nothing hopefully detrimental but we will be watching to see what goes on with that into the course of the rest of the week we could be looking at the possibility of maybe some radio interference or interference with gps signals depending on if the signals are strong enough this information courtesy of spaceweather.com great website to go to for information on auroras asteroid passes what kind of satellites you might see up there the surface of the sun how much again you can see up that direction when it comes to sunspots if you want to do some safe solar viewing nothing taking a look like directly at the sun and when it's cloudy have to use those satellites we were just talking about a few seconds ago. You can also take a look at what's going on across the cosmos, not just in our neighborhood, but beyond. Taking a look at galaxies and stars that are forming way on off into space. Nebula, just incredible colors and patterns and striations at various points across the sky. And also the constellations as well. Uh, this one particular focused in on Orion. Just search NASA APOD or Astronomy Picture of the Day and you'll be able to learn a little bit more about what's going on out there when it comes to anything involving night sky astronomy and tons and tons of cool science. And again, that's APOD, Astronomy Picture of the Day from NASA. Spaceweather.com, again, more information on that coronal hole. And also on Space Weather, you can see a group uh, finding out more information about what's going on out there by sending objects to the edge of space and sending them up uh, stuff you can buy too including things like postcards 
and space pickles. If you've never seen this type of thing before, go to spaceweather.com and look about uh, the link to Earth to Sky Calculus. Again, that's Earth, the word to, T-O, Sky Calculus. And you can find out more about a payload full of Christmas pickles that went up to the stratosphere. Uh, the glass gherkins ascended to an altitude of 111,000 feet plus. Temperatures as low as 55 degrees centigrade and a cosmic dose of cosmic rays about 100 times the Earth normal. Uh, you can have one for your own tree. If you'd like to know more, all it costs is just 50 bucks, and you can get that in the Earth to Sky store. Memphis Astronomical Society will help you learn how to set up your new telescope that you get or give for the holidays. So if you'd like to know more about that, all you have to do is drop by memphisastro.org and their meeting to teach you more about how to use your new telescope will be coming up into the new year, probably in the January meeting, the first January of the month. Uh, more on that, again, available at memphisastro.org. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more astronomy, indoors or outdoors making certain you know a little bit more about what's going on across much of the Mid-South, available on my social media networks down below, and download our weather app, keeping you up to date to make you more aware of what's going on before you hit the outdoors, ready to take a look at the skies. You want to know what's coming your way, so download our weather app for your particular app or brand, and that's available in your particular app store. Just search WREG Weather. Again, cloud cover sticking around for most of the week, unfortunately, so not great stargazing out there as we go into the rest of early December, hopefully clearing up by the end of the week and hopefully stays that way to at least get some good viewing out across parts of the Mid-South, but not looking entirely too well but something to consider if you want to order that christmas pickle out there so something to consider if you want to do something like that a little bit later on for a great christmas or other holiday gifts we'll have another update on the weather coming up tomorrow on news channel 3 live and online and of course we'll have more updates on what's going on with astronomy in the sky so keep it tuned there to news channel 3 for more on that and remember whenever it comes to anything involving science or weather keep looking up i'm meteorologist austin Onik. thanks for joining me for tonight's edition of skyblog 3